It's Lindley Oz, January the 15th, 2014. And in case you might have missed it, yesterday during the ceremony for Ariel Sharon, an earthquake shook northern Israel just as he was being laid to rest. Now you, you can see the picture here of uh, Vice President of the United States of America, Joe Biden, speaking at his ceremony. It says, while former Prime Minister Ariel Sharon was laid to rest Monday on his farm in southern Israel, a minor earthquake shook the country's northern region. As dignitaries from all over the world paid their respects to one of Israel's last founding leaders, residents of northern Galilee told Ynetnews.com that they had experienced a quake around midday. Confirming those accounts, the Israel Geophysical Institute reported the quake measured 3.5 on the Richter scale. Now, many of you, I'm sure, have heard the prophecy regarding the death of Ariel Sharon. The prophecy was that when he died, the Messiah would come. Now, this is just my personal belief, okay? My personal belief and opinion in that is that it's not going to be the Messiah, Jesus Christ, the one that um, Christians are awaiting, my personal belief is that it will be the false Messiah, the one who will be the Antichrist. That is who I believe it will be. And that is, of course, if this prophecy ends up holding any water, we'll have to wait and see. But lots of interesting things are happening. We have this, uh, you know, comet ice on the tail of it. Um, we have a quake happening during the, um, the ceremony for Ariel Sharon. We've had the um, that chemical incident in FEMA Region 3. All right, we've got meteor storms, all sorts of stuff here going on. Um, it's very interesting times, worth keeping an eye open in the news and seeing what's going on. Um, I wonder, you know, what's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> it just keeps getting more and more interesting. So in case you missed it, there you go. Don't forget, an earthquake shook northern Israel just as former Prime Minister Ariel Sharon was being laid to rest. And it was confirmed in ynetnews.com as well as the Geophysical Institute. And it was a 3.5 on the Richter scale. Thank you and God bless you.